hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to take you along in my cooking uh, dinner tonight with my lovely husband and i want to show you how we normally do it here in turkey of course today we managed to get him home like uh, when we are cooking he's normally not at home but today because he, he is at home and most of you have been asking me to do a video when cooking uh, Turkish food. Today's video I want to take you along so that you can see what we normally do in our kitchen when my husband is at home. So in today's video uh, we are cooking this delicious meal called Kizatma. Kizatma in Turkish. It is a combination of potatoes, chilies, uh, carrots and also kofta. So as you can see i'm mixing some onion some coriander some salt some minced meats together um, so that i can mix them all together with some olive oil and then i'm gonna be making this turkish meal we call them kofta and kofta is just a mixture of uh, minced meat uh, with other ingredients or with other spices and then we're gonna be cooking along with some potatoes with some carrots some eggplants some tomatoes some uh, garlic so in today's video my husband is at home and he normally when he has time like when he is uh, at home he loves to cook for us by the way Turkish people or Turkish men they really really love to cook and they make delicious meals so today he is helping me in the kitchen and we are just talking me and him in the kitchen and also we have our little kids um, most of you know Mustafa and Adrian they are around i'll be showing you what they are doing uh so for now this is actually the kofta that i want to prepare it is a mix of uh onion blended onion uh coriander or dania uh, some salt and um what do we have some uh bread the like bread crumbs so i'm mixing together and also some a little bit of olive oil so i normally mix together like this and then when i'm done like when i get the right everything is mixed together i just get a little bit of it a uh, little by little and then squeeze together like so then uh, press to make uh, a flat circle or something like this so that we can cook this is kofta uh, i don't know <laughs> the kofta name in english but in turkish we normally they normally say call them kofte so as you can see i'm just pressing in my arm in my arms not arms in my hands while my husband is busy actually helping me uh to cook or to fry the potatoes so this the all of this mixture together like everything together in turkish it's called kizatma and uh to get the favorite uh, flavor or to get the best um, meal we normally prefer to cook this way because it's gonna be delicious when done so as you can see i continue making um making the kofta uh pressing one by one and by the way you need to take little by little do not make them so much big because if you make too much or if you get a bigger one they gonna not get well when you're frying so it is best to actually get little by little like in small amounts and you make you press them with your hands or whichever way you can do them or sometimes they are just not pressed so my husband goes ahead he loves chilies as you can see he is making some chilies over there I love chilies too but I prefer the chilies that are not too much spicy uh, so we have this kind of the longer ones they are not too much uh, spicy they are spicy but not too much the short ones they are so 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 much spicy and my husband loves so much so he is uh, helping me to actually fry the potatoes as I continue 
to make the kofta or the kofte. By the way, Turkish people have very different kinds of cuisines, and this is one of their favorites. Like one of my husband's uh, favorite, I don't know about others, but uh, we normally love to make this kind of food here in Turkey. Meanwhile, on this pan, there is some garlic. As you can see, I want to chop them uh, in little bit, like in pieces, so that I can fry them. We can fry them. Uh, when we fry them, we get that flavor, like we get that good taste that we're going to mix with the tomatoes over there. So this is just uh, organic garlic, and we're going to be frying, deep frying with uh, some uh, olive oil. And by the way, olive oil here in Turkey, uh, like I told you in my previous uh, videos, we harvest them in our garden, in Turkish garden, and then uh, we take them to the factory, and they are processed, and we get the olive oil that we normally use here in Turkey or here in my house. So meanwhile, as you can see, my little son is over there playing, uh, doing blah, blah, blah. And my girl, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. She's over there just chilling down on that car seat. By the way, this is the car seat that is in the kitchen. There is another one in the sitting room, but we prefer this one in the kitchen because, yeah, when I'm cooking, I can keep an eye on her. Because if I leave her with Mustafa or the, the other boy, he gonna make a mess. Meanwhile, while the food is cooking or while we are cooking in the kitchen, we chill, chat, talk, laugh. And uh, as I do this or as we do this, I normally prefer cleaning everything that I have used. So that when we are done cooking, it is only a few things that I'm going to be dealing with. Because I'm a mom who works from home, I have so many things to do. I prefer double dealing. <laughs> it's not double dealing, it is double working. So multitasking, I love multitasking. Like when I'm in the kitchen, when I'm cooking and I have little time, especially when my husband is there to support or to help me. I prefer cleaning the utensils because my machine, for me, my machine broke down. Uh, so I normally use my hand to clean everything in the kitchen so that the kitchen is neat. And uh, when we go to eat, it's just a few things that I'm going to be dealing with. And that is how I create time. Okay, I don't know about you, but I prefer arranging everything in the kitchen while still in the kitchen so that when I finish cooking or when we are done cooking, there's so much little that I can do. Like uh, when I just come in the kitchen, or maybe making another meal or something for the kid, I can quickly wash them and that is how um, I do my work here in Turkey to get more time for myself and do other stuff. So when in the kitchen, we are cooking together, the food is almost ready. So as you can see, this is the, the, the cocktail or the minced meat that I had made. So my husband goes ahead, deep fry them little by little, arranging everything so that it can fix together, like everything to go in the same pan at one so that we do not do twice or thrice so if you have time or if you have space make sure that you're utilizing everything and voila this is the meal that we have done like it's so delicious as you can see meanwhile this is the tomatoes and everything mixed together by this time my little girl normally wants me to carry her because she's tired sitting or just being there and she needs my attention so i grab her as my husband continues to cook and then when uh when he is still cooking i normally prefer go to before we eat or before i do anything i prefer breastfeeding my or feeding my baby because she's my first priority before even i eat she must i must make sure that i have breastfed her then we go ahead and i start packing or i start arranging the table so today we are going to use some watermelons this is the 
uh, meal that we have cooked, the potatoes, the chilies, the onions, the carrots together mixed with everything. And this is the kofte or the minced meat or the meatballs, whichever name you want to call it. And then you can see how yummy, yummy, yummy it is. So I'm going to take it to the to the dining room or dining table uh, so that we can enjoy together with my husband and my little son over there. You can see he's always wanting to, to see something and uh, this is the time that we normally eat together as a family. And by the way, this food is normally served with some yogurt, so don't miss the part of plain yogurt in the meal. After the food is done, like after we have finished eating everything, I normally uh, remove, it is my duty uh, to actually remove and clean everything on the table and then come back to the kitchen, arrange which, whichever leftovers I put aside and uh, soak these things in the Clorox and also some do some cleaning in the kitchen. Meanwhile, while I'm doing this, I'm also cooking or preparing Turkish coffee for my husband and myself. If you don't know Turkish men, they really love uh, tea or chai or coffee after meals. So whenever you get a chance, make for them or make for him some Turkish coffee. And don't miss the part of including a glass of water when you're serving him uh, the Turkish coffee. So this is my Turkish coffee. It is already done. I normally prefer removing the foam or the top layer so that uh, it can have that good look when you're pouring inside the cup and also Turkish coffee like have, if you have not seen my videos you can go ahead and check the benefits of drinking Turkish coffee by the way if you are liking my content and you want to see more especially what I'm doing uh, the home remedies the beauty remedies the beauty products and everything from Turkey comment below and like this video subscribe to my channel I know you are watching me I really appreciate it and let's grow together and learn together okay and if you will want to wish or we want to share my content it's okay i'll really appreciate so my turkish coffee is done this is the outcome or the aftercome or whatever then i normally take it to my husband sit down together and he gonna be enjoying his turkish coffee while we are talking otherwise until next time